Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Snake Eyes and as usual I'm quickly gonna go through the story of this movie to tell you in short what this movie is all about, then I'm gonna share my own opinions and thoughts about this movie, so in case you didn't watch it, one big spoiler alert across the screen and yeah, just click away from this video to avoid spoilers and come back after you watch a movie if you want to guys, if you don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally okay, but if you really are interested in my opinions and thoughts about this movie right now, then stay with me till the end of this video and let's get started. Alright guys, uh, Snake Eyes is a movie that's been released uh, in 2021 and this is an action movie, uh, a superhero movie actually, because this is a G.I. Joe Origins movie, so it's a prequel to all other G.I. Joe movies and I didn't really watch any G.I. Joe movies, I watched one but I never finished it, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, but yeah, anyway, story of this movie starts off with a scene of a father and a son hiding inside their home from the intruders and a father puts his son inside of a closet to hide them and protect them and the boy watches from the closet as these intruders break uh, into their home and murder uh, his father. He does try to save his father but unfortunately he fails. Uh, the boy's name is Snake Eyes, which is why the movie is called like that. He doesn't really tell us his real name or whatever, they call him Snake or Snake Eyes. And after that scene, the uh, movie cuts now to older Snake. He's still a young man, but uh, now he's uh, grown up and he's fighting uh, in a ring and it's some sort of illegal fights that he does for money or something, I guess. And he's now that lone wolf guy, you know, a drifter who just takes care of himself and uh, lives all uh, by his own rules and all that. Then after that fight, uh, a man approaches Snake and offers him a job uh, and Snake refuses it at first, but then man says that he can help him fight the murderer of his father. And that's what gets uh, Snake's attention and he accepts the offer and soon he realizes that he's working uh, for a man who is a leader of Yakuza clan, which are uh, Japanese mafia, and he starts to smuggle weapons for them, and as he's doing that, uh, he calls him again to talk with him, uh, and it's actually a loyalty test, where now he has to shoot this other guy called Tommy to prove himself to Yakuza's. Uh, of course, Snake refuses it because he says that he's not a murderer and he's a good guy. And the big fight breaks out, he betrays Yakuza clan and saves Tommy's life. And in return, Tommy brings him to his clan uh, that is called Arashkage. And uh, he asks him in return for saving his life to join Arashkage clan. And some of his friends uh, at the Arashka uh, clan don't really agree with that because Snake is a stranger and they think uh, he doesn't deserve a place in the clan. But Tommy uh, doesn't listen to them because he saved his life and uh, he feels like he owes him that. Uh, owes him that. So uh, he starts to train him and there are like three tests that you have to pass to become part of the clan. And while doing that, uh, Snake is now trying to pass all these three tests and become part of the clan. But in the same time, he goes back to uh, the leader of Yakuza clan, which is actually the main villain in this movie. And uh, he starts to work him for him as well, because the leader of that Yakuza clan wants to destroy Arashka uh, clan. Uh, because uh, the leader of Yakuza clan is a brother of Tommy, and they hate each other and uh, their enemies and now snake is like a double agent working on both sides trying to become part of arashkage so he can bring this like a stone that has a power of a sun and you can burn literally anything with it and that's for what that villain requested from snake to steal the stone from arashkage clan and bring it to him so he can use that same stone to destroy arashkage clan uh, in return, he will uh, bring him the murder of his father. And pretty much it's all about vengeance. Snake is only a guy who wants vengeance. And he becomes part of the plan. And he does steal the stone from them. Uh, and after he does that, he immediately becomes the enemy of Arashkage clan. And uh, he ends up bringing the stone to uh, the villain. And they give him the murder of his father and then he realizes that vengeance won't bring him 
his father back and that it's a bad thing it's a negative emotion and he spares his life and decides to make it right and go after the villain and they in the end join forces uh Arashkiga clan and snake eyes to take down the villain and that's in short what happens in this movie so it's a very simple story it's not one of those movies that is going to have like a super interesting story or whatever the, this is the movie that you want to watch uh, primarily for the action and fun uh, there is a lot of cool cgi but uh, the action like the action itself is very well done choreography is really cool the action feels really smooth but there is one huge downside you can't fucking see what is going on on the screen because cameras are fucking shaky as hell through this entire movie and i just don't understand who thought that was a good idea <laughs> you're making an action movie where the action is primary part of this movie and you actually have a good actors and you have a really nice choreography and stuntman and all that but the camera work is so terrible in most of these scenes where you just can't enjoy the action in this movie because it's poorly recorded that just the camera work is terrible and that's something i had the major issue with this movie overall i enjoyed the movie i enjoyed the story about the vengeance and i really like how the story actually tried to tell you that the vengeance is something that is bad it's not going to bring you any anything or any satisfaction once you actually do it you will realize that you achieved nothing with it and it just shows that the vengeance brings more destruction than any good and it really just shows that the vengeance is a negative emotion i really like that part of the story and i really like how that movie represented that I really love the part where he's going through these tests of loyalty for Arashkage clan and uh, how spiritually and like psychologically you have to be on that level of a good guy to be accepted in a clan. Arashkage are actually good uh, good guys even though they're like actually they're more of anti-heroes. They're like peacekeepers, you know, they kill bad people and they protect the world from terrorists and all that. And I really like that. I really like the concept of the clan, their rules, their morality and all that. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But like the major part was that action and it was messed up because of a poor camera work. I mean, CGI again was on the point. Everything was on point. I just don't understand why did they do such a poor camera work. And character development also wasn't really the best like i never really understood the point of the villain you know why did he wanted to destroy his brother and his clan there is no really psychologically specifically good reason for doing that you know he's he's just one of those bad guys okay i'm a bad guy and i want to destroy your clan because i hate you and that's that's literally the whole point i kind of feel they should have more invested into villain i also really like the ending of the movie where tommy turns out to be a bad guy and he becomes bad guy because the clan rejected him because at one point in the movie he used that uh power stone to uh kill the villain he failed to kill him but as soon as you use that stone you cannot be a leader of the clan and he was supposed to be the next leader of the clan and he gets very disappointed because he used the stone to protect the clan but rules are simple you touch the stone and use it for something evil your heart is not pure anymore and you can lead the clan and he sacrificed so much for that clan and he was loyal to it the entire time and then they just reject him because he made a stupid decision but rules are rules and you have to follow them and i kind of really like that part of psychology where like the hero like i really like that transition from a hero like anti-hero to full villain it made sense like movie actually had a good point it actually had a enjoyable 
story and the lore for this type of a movie. Most of action movies like this just have some stupid story. This one actually got me interested. It kept my attention. But the the camera work, I'll never forgive them that. Like they did a terrible terrible job with the camera work. If you are into like superhero movies, go check out G.I. Joe movies. Uh I think you might like him and go check out Snake Eyes as well. You might like him like it as well. Uh it's not a bad movie, but it could have been much better. That's that's just all I'm saying. Um that's it for this movie review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment, or subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's totally okay. Uh, you can also join my Chris Facebook group. Uh, I post all kind of stuff over there. Link is down below in the description. So join if you want. If you don't want to, again, you don't have to. It's totally okay. And I want to say one big thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I love you. I appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel so far. You're amazing. And I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.